Hello everybody, welcome back to G uh, Hello everybody, welcome back to DJ Mark 2000 with Rock by Bean. I'm the leader of DJ Mark 2000 and Rock by Bean is the leader with so me. Check out, check out our channel Rock by Bean if you don't know what he's talking about. Amen. He and I uh, react to classic rock songs from my day. My generation. Amen. Like ABBA, Rush, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. So yeah. uh, I don't know if Mark will put the link below this video, but I if did. you will, check that out. Go over there. And I will. Okay. I will do that. Very good. So we are going to listen to a song uh, that is kind of related to the band, uh, that is kind of related to the band ABBA, is kind of related to MTV. Okay. And we are going to listen to a band called Cher. She is a very amazing, talented lady that she um, uh, wrote a song, Believe. And uh, this, uh, the song is uh, more like, uh, like an 80s new wave style. Is... Uh, I think this song came out in the, in the 80s, could be the 90s, I'm not positive. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it came sometime at that point. It's a very cool song. Yeah. So I hope, uh, uh, put your headphones on. And let's listen now to share belief. To share belief. Let's listen now.
Thank you so much. Share or believe. That was a really good song, but a very disappointing video. Yeah, the video really didn't do much for me, but the song was good. The song was very good. Um, yeah. The, the, Cher's got a very unique voice. You know, she, yeah. As singers go, she has a very, always had a very uh, unique voice that nobody else had. Yeah. Of, of her generation, particularly. Now, this is before auto-tune and pitch correction. Uh, back then, you actually could had to be able to sing in tune. And Cher was one of those talented singers from that generation. Yeah. Unlike today, where any schlout can get on there and they can take you to the studio and line it all up and make your pitch perfectly so anybody can be a great singer. But back then, you had to actually have talent. And Cher had talent. And uh, she was very popular in the late 60s. When I was a little kid, her and her husband, Sonny, uh, became sort of a thing. And uh, they came out They came out from New York and lived in, San, in, in California and made a career in music. Yeah. And then in uh, she was, they started. They actually started their own uh, television show when I was mm -hmm. a kid, when I was a young teenager, The Sonny and Cher Show. It was a variety show full of musical guests and stuff. Yeah. And they put out some songs back then, too. And then they got divorced, and she went her own way and continued her music career, which was fairly successful. And she kept coming back every so often with a hit. I think this was in the 90s. That's when I think this, this came out. Could have been even later. But uh, anyway, it's a good song. It's a song about a woman who uh, apparently has a boyfriend that is on the fence about being with her in the relationship, isn't sure. She's like, look, I can't sit around waiting for you to figure it out. I've got to move on. And uh, I know I can move on, but I'm not too sure you're going to be able to do it. That's really what the song is about. Mm -hmm. So what did you think of her voice and the I song? I really loved her voice. Yeah, she does I, have a good voice. Yeah, she unique. does has a good voice. She was yeah. in Mamma Mia. Yeah, she was in the last, the second movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she was in the second uh, the very mus end. Yeah. musical of Mamma Mia. Yeah. But I love the song. I love the lyrics. I love the, mm, uh, I love the music. I just didn't like the video. Yeah, you know, forget the video. The, the music is really the thing. It's yeah. Like, the music was more important than the video. I agree, and I, and, and and the music release was good. It was a good yeah, it was, a good, it was a hit song on the radio. Yeah, it was. Back it in the was. State, so. There was that song on MTV. No, I don't think it was. I mean, it might have been on MTV in the '90s, but I don't know much about MTV in the '90s because by the end of the '80s, it was, MTV was something completely different than it was when I grew oh, up. Oh, I remember. It was full of a bunch of TV shows and stuff. Yeah. It wasn't just music television. So yeah. she might have been on, on, on MTV. I can't say for sure. Yeah. This video was clearly made for viewing, so it could have been. It could have been. That, that, uh, do you think was a cool song? Yeah, it was a good song. I really loved it. It's a good song. Good dance. It was a dan de definitely a dance song, too. Definitely a dance yeah. song, too. You can you can really, really get crazy with it. You, know, you can get really crazy with it. So... Uh, so yeah, so we thank you so much for joining us in uh, today's DJ Mark 2000, and we are gonna I gonna move on into solo DJ Mark 2000. I'm staying staying with you, and we are gonna move on to uh, we are gonna move on to Thomas Anders, Fresh Fox, CC Catch, and Leon Ross, and uh, the the bonus song that we're gonna be doing. So uh, I hope you have a great, I hope you have a great rest of the day, great rest of the uh, great weekend, spend time with your family, with your friends, and listen to best music uh, that you really like. Stay tuned. Subscribe to Rock My Bean. Check yes. out Rock My Bean channel. Check, Check out Rock My Bean on Facebook. And, um, and uh, stay happy and keep dancing on.